คะขอนิจิวาสวัสดีค่ะวายวายอุบคุณอุบเนี่ยอะไรเนี่ยขันต์ today we're gonna experience my friends introduce very scary and also we'll see this kind of Fantasy. Yes, takoyaki. Okay, and today we're gonna be in the studio production that create these kind of figures and models. Yeah. And today we're gonna meet Higa Brothers. In this episode of Daisuke Japan, we will explore the special effect makeup creations of two Okinawan artists who happen to be twins, Yuki Nori and Katsute Tsuhika. For the Thai and global audience, we kindly present to you the two languages system. Please choose the suitable subtitle on YouTube. Let's visit the studio of Higa Brothers Production, where they work on their creations. Their inspiration derives from cartoons and fantasy movies, which drove them to be artists in stop-motion film, mask making, and special effects makeup. Their professional skills have been featured in advertisement, short films, and music videos. Let's get to know about the Higa Brothers and their works. Like I said, that this place make fantasy become reality. <laughs> so here we are with the Higa brother. Yeah. Yes. You are not just a brother, you're a twin. Yes. yes. <laughs> Who's more handsome? <laughs> Who's more same, handsome? Same, same. same. <laughs> <laughs> the inspiration that makes you become a creator is for these scary special effects. Start from what? Can this is not special makeup. <laughs> <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> When we were a child, mm -hmm. our pa parents bought uh, a lot of toys mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. until maybe uh, four years old, five, maybe. Five. But <laughs> we uh, throw them away and gave them to my friends or mm -hmm. anything like that. So they uh, they angry. <gasps> they stop buying toys for us. So that's why we tried to create toys for ourselves. Oh, making uh, you know play. Uh, with clay and yeah. also we draw cartoon oh. every day by that time like, what kind of cartoon do you look like oh. mostly we love uh, Tezuka Osamu ah Tezuka Osamu oh. it's very famous that's uh, also it's like the manga cartoon that's uh, <gasps> you know Astro Ball oh yes that's yeah. it yeah. that's good yeah. And also yes. uh, Ishimori Shotaro. Oh, Ishimori Shotaro. That's very famous cartoon artist. By that time, the cartoon is still like a hero style. Right. But in this room, the thing sometimes is scary. What brings you to this kind of field? <laughs> oh, I see. When we were a child, you know, we were scared of ghosts and monsters. Uh, when we became, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. 13, we were interested about the uh, movie, mm -hmm. movie behind the, behind how they make those. What kind of movie that's uh, that's uh, in the past? Oh. Ultraman. Ultraman. Oh, oh see, everybody knows. Yeah. Sin Sinbad. <laughs> ah, Sinbad. Yeah, 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 yeah. American movie. American movie. Yes, yes. I know. Yeah. Ninety seventy five. Yes, 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 yes. And the dinosaur movie. Mm. Dinosaur. Mm. Yeah. Ha, ha. Those called uh, special effects. Special effects. Special effects. Yeah. My father is, uh, you know, have have a you know, store, ah. electric store, yeah, yeah. Yeah, store. That's why he ha had a you know, video camera. So that's why we trying to, you know, use that kind of stuff. Doing uh, stop motion. While my father is not in the house. <laughs> oh, you know. secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the first stop motion that you create mm -hmm. in your house. The Higa brothers were introduced to the world of special effect makeup when they were young. They began to experiment the art of makeup by utilizing each other's faces. He did, you know, you know makeup 
on my face <laughs> with you know tissue paper blood and you know kind of zombie you know, oh, zombie zombie oh. Things make we experience a lot of stuff mm -hmm. with eggs or flour or you know clay on the face my mother find out about that you know i was kind of scared because i ran away from her once I uh, tried to make a uh, you know, face cast with uh, plaster you know, and I tried to pull out the plaster from his face, but uh, it stuck. He was kind of a little bit screaming, so I, I tried to you know, break the you know, scalp, uh, you know, plaster. Oh my, my, God. My, my nose bleeding. <laughs> Finally, he just pulled the, oh. you know. By himself. Uh, yeah, by himself. During the 1980s, special effect makeup became widely used in Hollywood. This excited the Higa brothers and they decided to move to U.S. to pursue their passion overseas. By saving money through part-time jobs after graduating from high school, they traveled to the U.S. Studios, they started to work for a Japanese special makeup artist. Real dream was working at you know stop motion studio. Oh. Yeah, at that time, né? with uh, our idol named uh, Mr. David Allen. David, uh, yeah. Yeah. David Allen. He passed away already, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. A uh, lot of uh, stop motion effects for the movie called uh, uh, Caveman, Caveman and Caveman. Willow, or uh, When Dinosaur Ruled the Earth. A uh, Robot Jacks, mm. yeah, very mm. popular, famous movie. Mm -hmm. So that's why we wanted to go to America mm. to work under his supervise. Wow. You know. That's why we always try to make stop motion mm -hmm. yeah short film eh? short film mm -hmm. then bring those film to his studio and mm -hmm. show, show him wow to show me directly or yes directly oh. yeah. nice. he gave us some advice uh, how to do stop motion and they also uh, visited other special to effect studios studio. oh, yeah. what is the reaction of each studio <laughs> after you show them when we visited the Japanese special makeup artist called Screaming Mad George. He said, you guys can stay in the way. Oh, and working to, with him. Yeah. Yeah. You said at first you would like to work under Mr. David Allen. Yes. And so you try him anyway and then talk and then call and show him work. Finally, you get a chance to really work with him. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So Finally. Uh, how is that Finally. possible? He made a tiny uh, monster yeah. face. We gave those figures to him, and he just looked at it. He told us, maybe we'll give you a call. Oh. And then, uh, you know, finally we got the call. Kind of, you know, we were very amazed yes. oh. when we got a phone call from him. Yes. After that, we, <laughs> you know, directly went to his studio and wow. talked with him. He said, you guys did, you know, strike like this, you know, he did like this. <laughs> Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, gave us opportunity to work with and oh. stop motion music video. Mm -hmm. And then he gave us uh, advice to uh, how to uh, animate the puppet. Mm. We asked him, how uh, can we, you know, animate like the puppet is breathing, you know. Mm -hmm. So he gave me, uh, gave us uh, maybe you should do like this or like that, or, mm. you know, that kind of, you know, advice. Mm -hmm. Let's just look back. <laughs> Start from five years old. <laughs> and today <laughs> in America, you're creating the music video. <laughs> so that's really amazing for someone who really had a dream since they were young, mm. not to let it go and mm. then put yourself to the place that you want to be. Mm, dream <sighs> come true. Ah, yeah, that yes. was dream come true. Yeah. 
The Higa brothers' biggest dream was to work with David Allen, a leading artist in special effects makeup in Hollywood during the 1980s. They visited his studio many times to showcase their own creations. Their passion in tireless approaches moved David Allen to give them a few projects to work on during the mid-1990s. It was then when their biggest dream came true. The Higa brothers finally returned to Japan in 1997 to follow their passion of creating their favorite local tale into a stop-motion animation by using the skills that they learned in the U.S. The Higa brothers' stop-motion animation, Kanahiru the Iron Boy, was not an easy project. It took almost a decade to create this 30-minute stop-motion film. This character, the oh. Kanahiru, ah. funny, very strange boy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks okay. weird, though. Ah. That's why we wow! Mean. And I heard that it didn't take just one year to finish. No, no. How long? Nine years. Oh, <laughs> nine years. <laughs> but you have to imagine stop motion technique for thirty minutes. Yes. Thirty minutes is like a combination of how many shots? Would say how many shots? <laughs> we didn't. Uh, we haven't. You know, count. Check the twenty-four frame. Twenty-four frame. For one second. For one second. Yeah. One second. One second. Twenty-four frame. Thirty minutes. It's pretty hard work for the uh, stop motions. But the things that you take nine years, you try to get support right. from 
the Okinawa area. We try to try, help, uh, but no help. That's why we, you know, are on money by ourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to work on this. Nine years. And after you finish that one mm -hmm. within nine years, yes. it's such a long time. How do you feel of finishing that work, <laughs> Tanahiro? <laughs> I felt like you know released from the jail. <laughs> How about the feedback after people saw the movie? You see, there are a lot of uh, goblins or majimun, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. You know, some people think it should be children's film, but looks like horror film. <laughs> Monster, or like, you know. I see. I heard you mention about Machi Moon. Evil spirits ah, evil or spirit. monsters. Mm. Mm. In Japanese, it's called yokai. Yokai. Oh, yokai yeah. in Japanese. Mm. Right. Why you would like to do a work about Machi Moon? You planned to do the book, right? Yes. Right. right. Mm. Their latest work is an illustration book called Machi Moon, which translates to evil spirit in Okinawa language. The book is about mystical creatures that are believed by the locals in the Okinawa. In order to create this book, these Hika brothers did a lot of research and found 108 different Majimons. I found that this twin artist has a strong sense of wonder that most adults lack of their busy lives. Recently, we found another Majimon. Oh, another Majimon? Yeah, maybe two, three. Oh, it's, more it's not completed <laughs> yet. So wow. uh, maybe there's a second edition. Maybe. There are more. Maybe. Yes, yes, you yes. Know. Yeah. Does Machimun has always have to be a, a bad evil? It can sometimes be a good one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. there is a good one too. Kijimuna ah. is kind of funny. Mm. Isn't it? funny. Mm. Good. Playful? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Play. Yes. If you do bad thing to Kijimuna, mm. Mm -hmm. they will do bad thing to you. Know. Oh, so so why is about the Maji Moon in two book? Since we tried to make Kanahiro, mm -hmm. we started making Maji Moon mm -hmm. from that time. I like to know the Maji Moon that these days people know Maji Moon or it's in Okinawa. 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 Mm -hmm. It's very popular. Yeah, everybody knows. Not each, Not each character. Each, each character. <laughs> World because in Japan, as I think that people lose uh, this kind of story, you know, that's, uh, oh. before, a long time ago, that's, uh, maybe the grandmother or yes. grandfather yes. talked yes. to us, uh, yes. thought about Majimun, uh, maybe yeah. that's a scary story, yes. Yes. You, ha you have to be careful or yeah. something, mm -hmm. but these days they don't talk, this appears as, as kind of culture. Mm -hmm. right. yes. but there's Please. more uh, books like this, but we decide to draw mm -hmm. by our imagination. Ah. Our imagination. This is Higa's world. Yeah. We design our the own character, character and monsters. I Imagine. see. I see. There are people trying to, uh, you know, tell those kind of folk tale or scary, you know, story to children, mm. but without drawings. Mm. Are we I drawing? Without drawings. I see. So that's why we decided to make a book with drawings. Each people have different image, mm -hmm. right. and Higa brothers try to illustrate yes, those yeah. story, yes. those hanashi, and then become reality. Ooh. I did fifty-four stories, I see. and he did fifty-four th stories. Exactly. Yeah. Half, the same half, half half. Yes. Because the style is different, mm -hmm. a little bit. Idea also different. Since you can finish this one and mm -hmm. express it in the illustration way, which for me, mm -hmm. even though I didn't understand Japanese mm -hmm. in the t whole text, mm -hmm. it really shows me what is Majimun looks like mm -hmm. image and with the illustration mm -hmm. that really uh, convincing me to know more about the story. Mm -hmm. Would you have like a secret project that you would like to <laughs> develop from this Majimun story? Oh. You know, we try to make real three-dimensional Majimo. The Hika brothers have created hundreds of unique figures which embodies their imagination and sense of wonder. They have kindly demonstrated the process of creating these figures and the process of making a stop-motion film. Do you know that stop-motion animation is captured one frame at a time? 
between each frame. Figures are moved one by one, and therefore, the process of producing a stop motion film is very time consuming. Since computer graphics became widely used through the production of Jurassic Park in 1993, stop motion has now become more commonly used in short films. The Higa Brothers' creations are really like craftsman works. Going to see one of the plays that exist in this book. Yeah. So it's just right next to your place. Yes. Right. We call it Agari Jo. And in this place, we have the Majimun call. Kijimuna. Kijimuna. In this tree, fairy called uh, Kijimuna is inside living. Ah, living. That's like a tiny, just a small board. Red color. I see. A red color. Yes. Oh. The character of this evil is it scary or playful? Sometimes yeah, it's yeah. kind. If you do bad thing to this uh, Kijimuna, Hi. he will do bad thing to you. Mm. But if you do good things, then he will be your friend. It will be your, <laughs> your friends, everybody. <laughs> so this is one of the plays that you can find in Okinawa, and there's mm. a lot more in this book that you really already mentioned in the map. Yeah. Of Okinawa. I like to travel. Yeah. To see, you know, find out some kids, Majimon. Yeah. Please create a tour for <laughs> the Brothers and Majimon tour. Yes. That's a nice idea. Yeah. 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 For some people, seeing that the monster and evil is some sort of scary things, mm. what the beauty you see in the monster and evil, correct? <laughs> oh. Feeling about the ghost and scary stuff is very interesting to me. Anything that scared you? Uh, real stuff is really? scary. <laughs> you know, like, you know, accident or, you know, yeah. Oh, uh, murder. Violence. That kind of stuff. But as the monster looks in, mm. evils look, nothing can harm Hika brothers. <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, they love it. Come in. <laughs> Something like that. Show me. Show us. The Hika brothers have inspired us to chase our dreams and take risks to make them come true. The passionate twins have told us that they love to keep producing more stop motion film and create more special effect models. We can't wait to see their upcoming creations. Visit us on Facebook Daisuke Japan and website daiskijapan.tv. Daisuke Photo Tips. Daisuke Photo Tips in Okinawa. Okuno-san comes with the flagship camera of Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. Today's tips, let's talk about the color tone in the photos. You can choose either warm tone or cool tone which give you the different mood. Since it's cloudy today, why not try out the warm tone to see the contrast. If you want to see more relaxed tone, adjust to cool tone and see the difference. Now, pick your favorite setting and capture it with your right mood.
Next week of Daisuke Japan in Okinawa. Okinawa is known for its beautiful and clear sea. Okinawa is not only a famous tourist destination, but also a leader of environmental preservable. Discover these stories through the world's second largest aquarium, Shuraumi Aquarium. Don't miss out Daisuke Japan every Sundays on this channel.